that's true. Things happen. The Boston Bruins were already in the market, according to a lot of people, to add some depth to their lineup. Does this push things along a little further? I think it depends on what they know about the medical moving forward, because you hear them say it has the procedure, they'll reevaluate in two weeks. If talking to the doctors, they think it's going to be a lot more, then they may have to try to do something more significant. Time will tell. But it's really unfortunate, and uh, I'm sure that David Pashnak is pretty pretty upset about it because he's just a really good guy and a really good teammate, and he wants to be playing. And, uh, you know, this is one of those things, you know, we see it happen from time to time in sports where there's an injury that takes place in an accident away from the arena. There's not much you can do about it. It's life sometimes, and but it's a bad break, a bad break for the Boston Bruins for sure because he's such a key part of their team. A real tough break. And in terms of going out and, and changing their you know approach towards the trade deadline, I don't think it really does much. I think that they uh, intend on trying to add something, maybe scoring on the right side. No matter what, now that's not going to change. Maybe they try to ha have it happen a little bit quicker. Having said that, I, I feel bad. I mean, it's no. It, when, they, they say he was very heartfelt and feeling bad, and that it just stinks when it's not related to the game that you play yeah. or practice practice even that it happened away from the rink but like you said just ac accidents happen and the Bruins are going to have to pick it up without him because him being that good and them you know fighting with Montreal for that third spot in the Atlantic it's going to be tough for them to miss him for you know two weeks and they say two weeks yeah, that's what I mean thumb. it's like but who yeah. knows what happens in two weeks yeah, yeah yeah that's what he said he goes it'll be evaluated so I'm really I'll be interested to see what that further evaluation is because if it's another seven, ten days, not so bad. But if it's another several weeks, and you point out the thumb, he's a guy who holding plays with stick, hands. It makes you know fans watch the show, and you could attest this having played, and they think, oh, a guy could just like he wrap his finger or wrap his hand, not a big deal. Uh, it, it, it's all about how you feel holding a stick, and especially with a guy with, in your hand, hand. with hands well, like that. I mean, I mean, a thumb, if you have a thumb issue, you have a hard time buttoning your shirt, let alone, yeah, yeah. like, fighting exactly. off guys and trying to stick handles. Yeah, and, so. I, and, exactly. and I remember, like, years ago, Brian Leach ended up breaking his ankle, getting out of a cab or something in New York. So these things happen from time yeah. to time. And Wasn't there, and, like, a Dustin Penner pancake situation or something? I don't yeah. recall, but there may have been. I can't remember what it was. There may it have was been. something. Yeah. I don't remember the details. I just yeah. remember it was rare. I remember pancakes being involved. That's about all I can say. <laughs> his back went out when he happened. That's to it. Eat, there it is. He happened right, to be eating pancakes yeah. while Were his back there? went out. No, he, he told me the story. Okay. It's been it's been overblown, but he did say himself, I was eating pancakes and my back went out. So okay. forever he's now connected to I'm being sorry. injured by pancakes. Yeah. Hey, it's his own fault. I think he'll say that.